kind of wanted to make a little video to talk about maybe the future of the crash compilations I make and just sort of some general things. Uh, Hunter messaged me yesterday or he tagged me in a post. Uh, he had found this that somebody had posted on May 4th and he was like, I think this is from one of your crash comps. Uh, sure enough, it is. I mean, you can even tell it's this clip from Nick Del Campo Designs. I always put the credits for for clips that people send me right on top of the video. And uh, he posted this, and you can see it says, I saw this on YouTube today, video from Sean Williams. That's not what it said before. It just said, like, I saw this on YouTube today, smiley faces, whatever, laughing. So I sent him a message, and I was like, I see you used one of my videos. And I got my video, the link to it, and I said, here's what it's from. You know, I was like, you know what, I don't care if you use it or whatever, at least just give me credit. And he changed it and put my name in there, which, you know, that's still not ideal. But... You know, I, it is what it is. And then uh, today, Matt, he sent, you know, he tagged me in a post. And uh, Tina here, she, like, shared his post, too, and stuff, and said, wow, can someone confirm this is a real video? Well, it's obviously not real, but anyway, the point is, is it's, like, getting shared around. And uh, if you can see at the bottom there, it has 106,000 views already from, what, May 4th. And, you know, it... That's pretty awesome. Like, that's awesome. But my video, the video that it comes from at this time, it only has 21,000 views. And it's just like, <laughs> you know, if you want to share the video, please share the crash comp. Share anything, you know, whatever. It's, you know, upload them for people to enjoy. If you want to share them, favorite them, you know, show your friends. That's awesome. But at least, like, give credit. You know, going back to this, it didn't used to say it was from Sean Williams. It doesn't even have my YouTube name on there. And then it's also, it's only that clip out of that crash comp. And I don't know where this video first came from. You know, when I sent a Treb a, a post or a message, uh, he said he just saw it online. He didn't know where it could come from. I don't know. He might be lying to me. He might have clipped it himself. I don't know. Uh, either way, if you're going to do that, I mean, if you're going to clip the video and just use part of a clip, still, I mean, at least say where it comes from. I mean, come on. I mean, I take great care... And making sure that whenever somebody sends me a clip for these crash comps, I put their credit in there. You know, every it's always in the description. It's always right there on top of the video. And people don't have to send me clips. You know, I had some somebody was trolling me once. He's like, oh, look at you stealing people's videos and making videos out of them. And I was like, first, well, I didn't respond to him because I did some digging. Turns out he was just a little squeaker trying to get a rise out of me. But no one has to send me clips. You know, I got plenty of clips on my own to make videos with. I just like getting clips because it feels more like a little community, you know, like we're all sharing it something. Because I like iRacing. I like putting the crash comps together. And if you have a cool crash that you want to see, you know, in one of the videos, that's awesome. Send it. I'd love to put it in and you'll get credit for it. And if you want to share, you know, if you see something awesome in my videos, you want to share them, feel free to share them. But at least, at least see where they came from. Say where they came from. So I don't know who, who took this clip from my crash comp and shared it around without you know i don't know i don't know where it came from like i said i don't know if trev just said he'd found it whatever he might be telling the truth i don't know but whoever did it you obviously you're watching the videos <laughs> if you gotta do it again give me credit because that's a pretty shitty thing to do just not even say where it came from which uh leads me to my next point here is with the crash cops from this point forward i may start just watermarking them with my youtube channel i don't want to because I like these videos to look clean. You know, the only thing that pops up is like when people send in a clip and I have their, their name comes up on the video at the beginning of the clip. I like that. And of course, you know, the iRacing watermark is that's just baked into the replays from iRacing. Some people zoom in on the videos to get rid of that, but you know, I don't mind leaving it there. But anyway, yeah, I might start watermarking the videos with my YouTube channel on them and just take this as like a lesson learned because uh yeah i mean it's weird because i see that this little clip has 106,000 views and i'm like awesome and then it's like nobody knows where that comes from and that could be views that i'm getting and it's not like about money or anything you know i do have my channel monetized but these videos they don't make much money and i also have the least uh like you can choose what kind of ads you want and i have the ones that actually like give you the least amount of revenue because I only have the ads on my videos that you can skip. You can have like ads that pop up in the middle of videos, ads that you can't skip that are like 30 seconds, but 
I have mine monetized, and every video that I monetize has skippable ads. So it's like you you have a quick option if you want to you know help support the channel like that way, but you can also skip it really fast. So it's not about the money. It's not about that. I just I like putting these videos together, and I want people to watch them. But I'd like people to you know at least know where they came from if they're not going to watch it on my channel. <laughs> That's all I ask because I don't know. It just uh, that was kind of weird. This has never happened to me before. So. So I'm trying to kind of process everything and then, you know, figure out the best course of action. And the only course of action that I can really think to take is to start watermarking my crash compilations. So I uh, might do that. If you see the watermark, please don't be upset that it <laughs> makes the video look a little less clean. It's not going to be like crazy, like in your face, probably like in the bottom of the middle or something. Or I don't know. I'm, I'll try to make it look as nice as I can, but just uh, in case this happens going forward maybe maybe it won't be so bad anyway i'm gonna be done rambling now <laughs> thanks for taking the time to listen uh, if you have any feedback questions comments uh, let me know or just say hey like if you say hey so yeah that'll be it for me take it easy